how to connect your Trezor hardware wallet to an Exodus wallet app. Why would you want to do this? Well, Exodus and Trezor do have an official partnership here. Exodus has a bunch of features that you might not find yet on the Trezor suite. And so we can use Exodus here. Trezor hardware wallet. We can download Exodus itself. I won't go through that process in this video. I've got a video in the description that goes through that step by step, getting the Exodus wallet set up because it is different from the Trezor device. But you can download Exodus right here on your system. And then we can get into the Exodus wallet and we'll go through connecting that with our Trezor. If you have Exodus set up on your computer already and you want to connect the Trezor, then just come up to the settings in the top right hand corner. So click the settings option, then just make sure that you're on devices at the top and you can see install Trezor bridge. If you haven't done this already, you'll need to do this. So this is another download for your computer. This is going to take you through to your default browser. For me, it's Chrome. Uh, and this is going to go to the Trezor site. You might just want to double check that the URL that it goes to is the official Trezor site. It should be right there. Uh, and then you can press download latest bridge. So we can just go ahead and press this uh, and then just download that and you're going to need to install that as you can see onto your system as well. So go ahead and do that. Once you've downloaded the bridge, go back into your Exodus wallet, into the settings, and the same page should now have changed into this tab, which says detect Trezor. If it doesn't say this for you, or if it still says, please download the bridge, even though you have, just cancel out of the Exodus app and then reload it back up. You can also go out of this page. So go back to the main page and let the Exodus app kind of refresh and then go back into settings. That's what I had to do. And so you may have to do that as well. Now, as you can see, detect Trezor, and you can toggle this off. This means that if you plug your Trezor in, it won't try and detect it with an Exodus. So you can still use Trezor Suite separately. And if you want to toggle this on, then if you do plug a Trezor in, it's going to try and detect that and uh, download the data and all of the information that it needs. Now you can plug in your Trezor for the first time during this process. I'm plugging in my Model T right here. So not connected. I'm just going to enter the pin number. Once that pin number is open, it's going to connect. And because Exodus is open, it will detect Trezor. So I'll just input the pin number. Now on the device, it says, please type in your passphrase on the connected host. Connected host in this case is Exodus. Exodus has just changed, as you can see, uh, to continue to Trezor Wallet. So we're going to press continue right here. And what we'll need is on the Trezor just to find out that the Trezor accepts that connection. And then what you might have to do on the Trezor itself is accept that connection as well. So Trezor is found. You're going to want to go ahead and connect that. So press this. What you should see on the Trezor as well is that it's going to double check and ask you if you actually want to connect your Trezor and for Exodus to give it the okay to actually go ahead and download all of your data. So as you can see, do you really want to export watch only credentials? Uh, we can press yes on that one as well. And all of that data, just go through this process of pairing it. And if Trezor asks you, do you want to share, uh, share your data and everything like that, you can do. Now with this process, Exodus isn't getting your private keys here. Uh, so all of the data is, you know, fine to share with Exodus because Trezor keeps the private keys on the device. Um, so we can be sure that Exodus won't do anything with the crypto on our Trezor device unless we specifically accept it on the Trezor device itself. So as you can see here, the Trezor is successfully paired. Any assets that you have on the Trezor and everything like that is going to import them, all of your balances and everything but Exodus has zero control over our Trezor wallet, uh, we still keep that on the device. So another tip is make sure to never reload your Trezor recovery phrase into an Exodus. If you're doing that, you're turning your hardware wallet into a software wallet. So that's a big no-no. Always keep your recovery phrase and your seed on your Trezor device. What we're doing here is just simply reading all of the data from the Trezor. Um, and then if we want to go ahead with a transaction, we can do that, but we still need our Trezor plugged in and we need to confirm it on the device uh, because the keys, private keys, the main thing is still on the Trezor device. If you want to send and receive crypto within Exodus, you can do that. Just make sure that my Trezor is selected. Uh, so the Exodus side will have different wallet addresses and different balances. So click my Trezor, then come over to wallet right here and choose the asset that you want to send and receive. So I've got an Ethereum address here that I have two transactions on. So we can check in the top right hand corner that our Trezor is selected. And it says here as well, hardware wallet. So we, we just know that we're using the Trezor right here. Then I can go and press receive. 
and this is my Trezor wallet address. Now you're gonna need your Trezor plugged in just to confirm any transactions that you send and receive, but that is your Trezor wallet address and you wanna double check that. You can actually go over to the Exodus side. It's gonna go ETH network, press receive right here and it should be a completely different address. So just make sure that you're on the correct address of the wallet that you actually wanna send and receive from. Now if you send as well, then obviously you need an address to send to, but you will not be able to send the transaction unless your Trezor is plugged in and you actually accept so on the device. If you haven't got a Trezor yet, link in description to the official store where you can get one and also some exchange deposit bonuses down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.